Man, Planet of the Apes. Now, you told me about your little theory um, about kingdom, empire, planet um, for the apes. Well, you were wrong about that theory, man. They, the producers for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, they see the Planet of the Apes saga being nine movies. So you're going to have to think of much more words to put in front of Planet of the Apes before we get to just Planet of the Apes. Um, <laughs> so... The producers do know that it's quite ambitious, but they can envision the entire story um, yeah, spanning those nine movies. So we've done four already, um, but they did say with Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, they can see uh, or that they have set the stage for at least two more movies with those characters. How do you feel about this being a nine film saga? Does, is there story in? Is there enough in there? Does that include the three we've already gotten? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've done four now, five more to go. Oh, okay. Um, God, that's real slow burner, isn't it? Yeah, he, <laughs> yeah. he made a he made a comment about how like these films are just so slow to get to the point. Um, and I, as myself and yourself, as a movie fan, we still think this is a bit slow to get to the Planet of the Apes type <clears throat> moniker, you know. So yeah, it might be a bit too much. I would have rather them achieve Planet of the Apes in this trilogy, and then maybe the next trilogy would be just you know exploring the world of Planet of the Apes or just mm -hmm. having, yeah. But we, we, we sort of knew that once Kingdom was announced that there, were, there was a plan for for more movies, especially with these mm -hmm. characters. Yeah. Even, even more so when we watched it as well. So there's still a lot to tell in, let's say, Noah's saga. Yeah. Still a lot to say. It's just the direction it's going to head in and what purpose it's going to serve to the larger story is. Mm-hmm. It needs to be good, and it needs to justify an extra five films. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I think what they said regarding that Kingdom set the stage for the next two more movies, I think that's correct, and I feel like there can't, there is room for that. But, man, I am right about the whole snail's pace at this point. Like, it, it's certain, and I noted this when I was, like, quite young, when Rise and Dawn was coming out. Like, what is the difference between Rise of the Planet of the Apes and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes? Like, just the title itself, it means the same thing. Like sunrise is dawn, for example. Like well, it's... Right, rise is the apes rising against the humans, and dawn is well, that they're dawning on the humans. But sunrise is dawn, <laughs> so it, it, it makes no sense. I don't know how they can keep the the titles up, but it, it alludes to my point about how it's such a slow pace for the planet of the of the apes to come to fruition, and even after four movies, it feels like we're hardly there still. They got so close to it in Kingdom, but obviously the end of the movie says differently. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to see how that goes. Nine movies is ambitious, but I mean, let's say for the sake of things, this could operate very much like Star Wars. One trilogy at three different time periods. So you oh. could have this trilogy, say next one's in 20, 2027 and then 2030. And then you get a nice seven year break at that. So it's 2037 and then 2040 and 2043, this franchise. Bro, began. that's fuck off. Like, when, when did Rise come out? 2012 or something? And you're expecting this, like, whole saga to finish in, like, 2040? Bro, okay, no if, way. If it follows, like, uh, Star Wars, where it's just three separate trilogies forming one story, then sure. I don't know what you feel is best, but they could do that, or they could just bang out all these five movies right now. So you would have the next one in 27, the next one in 2030, then 33, then 36, and then 39. So either way, if it's three years apart between each movie, which feels realistic, 2039 is where this nine film saga would end. Yeah. Fuck, that's just so long for like a saga. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, I, I don't know if they can hold... How could you hold the audience attention for another, yeah, 15 years? That one's a tough one. That's, um, that's, a, that's a whole new generation right there. Yeah, when you put it in that kind of perspective, it's like, I don't know if they have that kind of room or that stretch for storytelling. You've got to be able to hold attention. You may have the story, but is there enough momentum for people to stay um, invested in this um, kind of franchise? So, yeah, we'll have to see. But maybe just do it one trilogy at a time, I would say. Don't focus on the nine films. Focus on your trilogy, your characters right now. Oh, right, yeah, but what do you guys think about this? Planet of the Apes, should it be nine films, six films, seven? Should they go longer or should they just keep going? Whatever you think, whatever you uh, believe, let us know down below. Otherwise, Nan, we're going to finish this podcast up with our final topic today, and 